The entire movement, what I am heading right now is towards moving the humanity from religion to responsibility. If something is going right, it's me, something going wrong, we've lived like this for too long, it's time to change this. We need to understand the source of all our problems are within us and if we want solutions, they are within us, nowhere else. So moving the world from religion to responsibility, only then human potential will be fully explored. Otherwise, <laughs> everybody has an excuse for all the rubbish they do and usually they have divine sanction for every stupid thing that they do. See, this is the nature of human intelligence. If you do something stupid today, tonight your intelligence will bother you, why did I do this? But if it is God-endorsed or scripture-endorsed, you can do idiotic things with great confidence. You don't have to turn back and look, this needs to go. We need to move humanity into a more responsible function. If this doesn't happen, we keep looking up and doing all kinds of terrible things to each other and to ourselves. This is happening all the time. A time has come where human intellect is firing like never before. More human beings on the planet can think for themselves than ever before in the history of humanity. This is the time when heavens are crumbling in people's minds. How many of you think you will go to heaven? After your time is done, of course. You… you will go to heaven? Okay, all those who made a hell out of themselves want to go to heaven <laughs> This happened <laughs> This happened in Alabama. A Sunday school teacher was going on full fire, but unfortunately the audience were not like you. They were tiny tots, catch them young policy. Full fire he was going on in his rhetoric and he stopped and asked, what do you have to do to go to heaven? So little Mary stood up and said, if I scrub this church floor every Sunday morning, I will go to heaven, absolutely. Another little girl stood up and said, if I share fifty percent of my pocket money to my less privileged friend, I will go to heaven, correct. Another little boy stood up and said, if I help people who are in need, I will go to heaven, correct. Little Tommy in the back bench stood up and said, you gotta die first. You got to die first, that's a qualification. And when you die, if you have not done anything eco-friendly, one good thing you will do, we will either bury your body or burn your body or cut it and put it to the birds, depending on what culture you come from. Something we will do, one thing is we'll put the earth back to earth, it's a good thing that everybody will do at the end. Nobody goes with their body. So you left your body here and went to heaven. What is in heaven, you must know. You know what's in heaven? Oh, you must know you're going <laughs> In Hindu heaven, food is good. <laughs> if you are a foodie, that's where you go. In another place, there are white-gowned ladies floating around in the clouds. If you like that kind of ambience, you go there. In another place, you'll encounter virgin problems. If that's what you're looking for, that's where you go. But one thing is, you left your body here and went to heaven. You don't have a body. What do you do with good food and virgins? <laughs> it is time we move this humanity from religion to responsibility. I want all of you with it, thank you very much.